Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today we're going to be talking about why you might consider running a fully validating node for your cryptocurrency of choice and how to get started running one of those nodes uh, for two popular cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum. So let's first get started by discussing uh, what a fully validating node is and why you might want to consider running one. So unlike light wallet clients that you might install on a mobile phone, a fully validating node stores the entire blockchain for that cryptocurrency. That means it stores the entire database showing every transfer of funds, every transaction uh, that has gone on since the beginning of that currency's existence. Because they store the entire blockchain, these nodes can fully validate every single transaction and therefore every single transfer of ownership that has occurred over that currency's history. Remember that a blockchain is like a shared ledger that shows all of the transfers between different accounts on these ledgers. And so this is the most secure way to, to manage your own blockchain and be sure that the funds that are in your wallet are indeed yours and recognized by the network. You don't have to trust any other nodes on the network that could potentially be malicious like you do with SPV Lite wallet clients. So these nodes will reject bad blocks that might come in from parties on the network that are trying to commit fraud. And they'll tell other nodes on the network uh, that these blocks are bad. They won't accept them as part of the blockchain history. So it's kind of like a cashier that's trained to recognize fake $100 bills. But not only will the node not take your fake $100 bill, but they'll also tell other parties on the network that, hey, this person, this other party in the network is trying to use fraudulent money. So what are some of the requirements for running a full node? Well, fortunately, the process and the software installation is really simple. You just want to make sure that you have a machine that's up to the task of running this software. First of all, you will need plenty of hard drive space. Uh, for example, Bitcoin is over 10 years old, and that's a lot of transaction history. So you're probably going to want at least about 200 gigabytes of hard drive space, although Bitcoin and many others aren't quite there yet. You want to leave some room for blockchain growth if you plan on running this for a long time. As well, you'll need a good internet connection with lots of bandwidth, uh, because you are going to need to initially download the entire blockchain history, and you hopefully don't want that to take several days. As well, part of the role of full nodes on the network is to upload the blockchain and give block information to other nodes on the network and like clients like mobile phone wallets. So you want to make sure that you have a good internet connection and don't have any ridiculously low data cap that might impede you from running a full node and uh, end up with you incurring a bunch of extra charges on your internet bill. So for example, how can we run a Bitcoin Cash full node? Now for my full nodes that I've been trying out, I'm using Ubuntu Linux, which is a simple and easy to use Linux distribution. And so I use the Ubuntu Aptitude Package Manager. All you need to do for a Bitcoin Cash full node is add the Bitcoin-ABCPPA package repository, update all of your packages, and then install Bitcoin-QT and Bitcoin-D. So this will install the Bitcoin ABC client, and this comes uh, thanks to Bitcoin QT with a nice graphic user interface that will actually show you what's going on with your full node and your wallet. So you can just fire that up from your program menu using the graphic interface of Ubuntu and uh, it will start the initial blockchain download and give you lots of information about the progress of that download. It will also prompt you along the way to create your wallet, uh, ask you to add a passphrase to your wallet to encrypt it if you would like to, and other you know, basic security and uh, usability prompts for getting set up with a Bitcoin Cash wallet. Now running an Ethereum full node is just as simple in terms of the installation. The only pitfall is that the uh, most commonly used Ethereum full node client is command line only. Um, so you'll have to fire off some command line uh, tasks to get it up and running. So you'll add the Ethereum and Ethereum-dev PPAs to your package manager. 
and then you'll update and install just Ethereum. Now to get started with a new uh, wallet account on Ethereum, you'll run the account GE account new, and that'll create a new account uh, with a private key and corresponding Ethereum address for you. And then you just run GEF to get the full node started. So this will just run in the command line and you'll see some text-based updates on uh, downloading the blockchain and some of the processing that it's doing in the background. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of why full nodes are important and what they do. And you might be interested in installing and running one yourself. It can be valuable to the network even if you don't use it as your wallet. But it's also certainly the most uh, secure way to uh, ensure that the funds that are stored in your Bitcoin wallet are actually yours and uh, avoid any fraud in your transactions uh, that you might be receiving from other people on the network. So I hope this has been informative for you. And as always, there's a text article that accompanies this on the website. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.